Thank you for joining me today. Month of Pilates, day 19. So let's start on the back. We're just going to start easy um, core activation first. So feet and knees, hip width apart. Bring your hands up onto your hips. Gently pulling shoulders away, neck long. Lengthen the spine and align in the center the spine. Feel hips apart. Okay, hips are even, spines are neutral. Uh, Feel your breath, watch your breath, just centering, connecting. Um, also, it's a new day, a new day, new energy. Feel everything's anew. Are you feeling good, feeling strong, feeling powerful? And you see, this is a time uh, you're pouring a little energy back into you to look after you. It's just like a uh, your investment back to yourself. Okay, hands up onto your hip bones, hips are even. Let's just connect to your breath, lateral breathing. And as you exhale, you start zipping up the pelvic floor, start gently aligning and lifting, acting, feeling that's working. Okay, lots of people, uh, lots of people lie down and they think and they wonder. I don't feel they, they can, uh, sometimes the things I'm saying, they listen here half, because their mind is still wandering. You see, you're not the wanderer here. Hips are powered, just listen to me. Connect to your base. Feel gently pulling and bracing your pelvic floor. Feel. Draw your hip bones close to each other now. To feel imaginary horizontal line sinking the tummy. Draw all your ribs down. Okay, so let's just turn the right knee out slowly. Now I want you to first connect and then you pull the knee back. Feel there is a gentle lift there in the pelvic floor. Turn the left knee out slowly. You exhale and bring back. Okay, turn both knees out away from each other. Feeling strong, feeling powerful. Exhale and pull knees back. Hey, also, there's another type of people. Let's turn the left knee out slowly. Keep those hips stable. Exhale and pull back. Turn the right knee out. Exhale and back. They do exercise, they get so serious. Uh, Okay, both knees out away from each other. They tense too much. Their face, their neck, their shoulders, their body. It's just like they're in a battle. Okay, so you're not in a battle. It's like a play for us. Just a happy time for us. Turn the right knee out again. And I zip up and bring the knee back. Turn the left knee out. So undo that an unnecessary tension from you. Also, you, you're feeling, let's turn both knees out away from each other and I feel you engaging the pelvic floor, pulling the knees back. Last time, so turning left knee out, both hips are staying stable, exhale and pull the knee back. Right knee out, exhale and pull back, both knees out away from each other, exhale and pull back. Okay, so feet and knees staying hip width apart, arms onto your side. Lift both arms straight up at 90, pull the shoulders, palm facing each other here, it's just slightly turn the hands. And exhale, arms down, curl up, looking up to the ceiling. Breathe in up, breathe out, curl. In through your nose, out. Keep going. And it's a day 19, and if you're still doing the Pilates, and if you're doing every day, it doesn't matter, you missed a few days, I do the same. Um, it's okay, but come back and do it again. Okay, this is the positive thing. This is the positive behavior. Okay, so last four. And back. Three. Some days are hard. Some days are good. Some days are busy. Some days have a more time. That's good. Okay, rest. Hands are behind your head. Hips apart. Point the chin up. Open your elbows. Pull the shoulders. Exhale, curl up. Inhale and back. Feel hips are staying stable. Engage your pelvic floor. Sink the tummy. Draw your ribs. Good. So we're doing it for a good health. We're doing doing it for our good, okay? So not to challenge or compete or uh, finish these videos. It doesn't matter. You keep going. Four more. Three. Two more. Now. Last one. Feel those abs are working. And back. Okay, so right leg up on a tabletop, left leg up on a tabletop, feet and knees staying hip width apart, lift the both arms straight at 90. Okay, pull the shoulder palms still facing each other, pull the shoulders, make your arms firm, lengthen those fingers and fingertips. Now point your feet and feel like even you're making your, your calf, your thighs are strong. Okay, ribs in, 
uh, imprint spine so just breathe up lower your right foot down take your left hand above your head inhale and back left leg right arm breathe in and back just keep going beautiful bring your heart and soul into your exercise go good so we'll do four more here three two more have that breath be working not just only your abs working on your respiratory system your your circulatory system knees together feet together now squeeze your heels together turn your hands slightly we're lowering both arms down and curling up draw your ribs good inhale and back feel those abs sink your belly button and feel those knees are not moving towards you feet are not moving so legs are very stable and firm okay four more three two more last one okay so curl and extend your legs to 65 feeling strong inhale back curl and extend your legs inhale and back just two there two more last one beautiful bend your legs feet down one by one feet to knees hip width apart hips apart the spines in neutral cores engage hands are behind your head open up your elbows hips apart sink the tummy lift the right shoulder turning to the left inhale and back always remember is if exercises are getting harder for you you can always modify you can always rest on that time okay bring the knee towards your elbow Hips are not rocking. Inhale back. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. And let's rest. Perfect. Okay, feet and knees are hip width apart. Hips are paddling. Lifting both arms up. Hips are paddling. Engage your core. So just curl, pull the tummy arms on the side, zip up, draw your ribs. Good. Keep sinking the ribs in. Feel those abs are working. Okay, so let's just do heel to heel. Feel your hips are stable. And keep going. Six, five, four, three, two one and rest i really love this exercise because it sort of gives the hip stability but also gives the spine a movement okay both legs on a tabletop knees together feet together squeeze your heels together knees together hands behind your head like just point the chin again exhale and curl up draw your ribs okay go again feel the legs are firm knees are firm feet are firm go and then feel you're, you're engaging your pelvic force, not just not just only activating your abs, you're activating your pelvic floor as well. Four, three, two more. Last one now. So we're just going to hold it here. So just look up, not towards your knees. Hands are hands are there to support your head. Okay, okay. So just breathe out. Extend your right leg to the 45. Breathe in and back. Not turning. So just staying as it is and I want you to feel you using your abs really strong now you can extend and lower your legs slightly down to challenge your core a bit more four to go use those abs last one and then bend the legs and rest beautiful okay so hands up onto hip bones hips are parallel right leg on a tabletop extend your leg flex your foot turn the foot slightly up good make that leg strong powerful okay single leg circle breathe up straight down like you're cutting okay inhale out and back breathe out down breathe in out and back feel that left knee left hip is staying stable inhale and back inhale out and back inhale out and back last one 
Nice. Okay, let's do reverse. Breathe out, turning out. Inhale, in and out. Inhale, out and back. You keep going. So it's exhale for half circle. Inhale for half circle. Last one. Bend the leg, lower your foot down. Hips are even and parallel feet. Knees hip width apart, engage your pelvic floor. Sink the tummy, draw your ribs. Lift the left leg this time. Okay, extend the leg, flex the foot and rotate slightly. Lengthen the leg. Feel your pelvic floor engage. Straight down slowly. Feel the core. Turn out. So no rush. Out and back. It feel there's no clicking in the hip, there's no rocking in the hip, tummy still in and sinking in. Even if you see, it's it's me making a mistake. You try to you try to perf perfect the technique. Okay, turn up, down, in and back, out, down. In and up. It's breathe up, we're turning out, down, inhale, in and up. Last one, and back. Okay, so let's just uh, lie down on the side. We're going to do some clamps, some hip work, some side work. Um, as I always say, the side is as important as the front, and the uh, same back is as important as the front in the side. So everything's important, nice balance. Okay. Clam, um, so arm under, uh, see that I'm staying on the middle of the mat, head resting on the middle, and then you slide your hip back, sort of feel like your tailbone, your tailbone almost hanging on the edge of the mat. Okay, stretch your legs straight, you see I'm flexing the feet, and just bending the legs slightly, sort of feel like your heels and tailbone all align. Hand here, just push the waist away, you feel that there's a nice vertical line here, and I start pulling your tummy, engaging your core, and I'm rolling the hip forward, and I just lift the heels up. We're going to do some um, advanced clam here today. Okay, so heels strongly together, and as you exhale, lift the knee up. Inhale down. Squeeze your heel together. Inhale back. Then just keep going. Imagine is you sort of having a you have a tight band around, elastic band. So when you lift, try and lift, giving you resistance to lift. Okay, six, five, you're doing good. Four more, three. Let's breathe up, we're lifting up. Okay, one more extra there, and lift. Hold it here, so hold the knee here. Try to turn, extend the leg and a sweep, touch the heel, lower the knee halfway down. You can bring the hand here, lift the knee, exhale, extend the leg, inhale, touch, exhale down. So it's a lifting the knee, extending and you're sweeping the leg back, touch the heel, lower the knee down. Breathe and we're lifting, extending and beautiful. Okay, so four more times. Perfect. And focus is the work, there's activation in your, in your hip, in your pelvis, in your glutes. Last one there. Okay, so hold it there and let's do a little circle here. One, two, three. It's a little circle. Feel everything's aligned and it's stable. And you're keeping your core engaged, so it's just really connecting, controlling. Okay, let's do the backwards go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Touch the heel and down. Give a little pack. Very good. Okay, so bring this leg here and stretch your bottom legs. Just point your foot. Sink the tummy and slightly internally rotate the leg. Now, adding another one thing here. We're flexing the foot today. Okay, feel you really pushing that heel away from you. So you're trying to lengthen your leg. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Perfect. You keep going. Okay, 
Beautiful. And lengthen that leg. So just really, really feel the legs are tight and firm. And you're using that inside thighs really strong, engaging your pelvic floor, keeping your tummy in. Last one. Okay, so hold and do a little circle here for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do the backwards now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And rest. Beautiful. Okay, both legs are together. Point your feet now. Roll your top hip forward, pulling the tummy. And a breathe up. We're lifting both legs up together. Okay, hold it here. And then slowly lower your bottom leg down first. And lower your top leg. Okay, so it's exhale, lifting up. Inhale down. Inhale, engage. Exhale, lift up. And lower down. And lower down slowly. Lifting both up and down okay so both up this time so you hold here and lower your bottom leg inhale and exhale lift up inhale down exhale okay keep going and try to when you're lifting up so try to push that up a bit more two more last one now keep the tummy in and let's do the scissor you keep those inner thighs strong, tight, and keep your body stable, keep your feet pointed. The body's not rocking, pull the tummy. Even you take this hand off, you feel it's just all control. Legs aligned, and a little faster. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and let's rest. Wonderful. Okay, let's do the other side. You need to have a little drink. Make sure you have a drink, lots of water. Uh, okay, not sit up. Gently push and push that hip away, heels together. Good, push, pull the tummy. Okay, now next stage is we're rolling forward. As we're rolling forward, we're lifting the feet up. Okay, so join and squeeze your heels together. And before you're squeezing, think you're already activating your glutes there. Okay, up. And engage your core, pull your tummy. Inhale down. The more you're pressing your top heel down to the bottom heel, the more you're activating your glutes, the more you're making them work hard. And that sort of glutes like motor in your body, like engine of your body. It helps to keep you extended, helps to support your back okay six more and push that heel work there yep four three nice good smile two more last one so we're going to hold this time extending the leg flexing the foot and sweeping the leg touch the heel lower the knee inhale up beautiful touch and down up so good and you know you see after this month of pilates you're going to really feel good about you uh, uh, more tall strong aligned and you will feel more energy because the bodies are aligned when we align we use less energy like that's why we send our cars to the wheel alignment, the alignment and servicing. Three more. So this, this exercise really going to help you with the, your body's alignment. Okay, last one. Okay, hold the leg straight. Keep it straight and do circle. Feel good. Feel that glutes are working, hips are working. It's, it's all a feel. The more you're connecting with your body, the more your body feeling good, feeling strong. Okay, let's do other way around. More stable. You see that? Oh, stability here. Strength, control, connection, power, breath work. Good. Three, 
two, and let's rest. Oh, <laughs> good. Okay, top leg here, stretch your bottom leg. First, you point and feel you lengthening, and then you flex the foot and slightly internally rotate and lift the bottom leg up. Inhale down. Yep, and feel you lengthening, feel you working on your core, feel you working on your inner thighs, and feel those strong legs. You have very strong and firm, powerful legs. Four, three, two, last one. So just hold and let's do a little circle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's do the backwards go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest. Okay. Both legs are together. Rolling hips slightly forward, pulling the tummy more using of a back. Okay, lifting both legs up, lowering the bottom leg, lowering the top leg, lifting both legs up. And that's good. So it's exhale, we're lifting and down. Exhale. With the inhale, we lower. Exhale, lift up. Okay, last one now. Up, hold, and just the bottom leg in, have bottom leg up. Four, three, last two and last one so hold it strong feel those inner thighs are working and let's do the scissor control last ten nine eight a little fast seven five four three two and down good beautiful <laughs> good Alrighty, uh, I break my own rules. Uh, I was making face. Oh, uh, the pain takes so over. Sorry. Okay, feet and easy fit the part. Let's do the cat stretch. We finish. Okay, hands under. Pull the shoulders. Good. Spend so much time with me. You sort of start finding out about me too more. Okay, neck long, lengthen your spine. Pull the tummy. Look forward. Exhale and curl your back. Inhale, looking up, chest up. Exhale and curl. So, mostly my sessions, um, it goes in hour, more than an hour. I'm trying to make it small sessions because everyone was saying they're too long. We can't do the long sessions. Okay, sit back onto your heels. So that's why I started putting these smaller sessions, but uh, we are covering a whole body. We are doing a complete body exercises. Okay, back on all four. Neutral spine, feet and knees, hip width apart. Pull the shoulders and neck long. Pull your head, pull the tummy. Let just lift the right arm, left leg in half. Exhale down. And remember, I said working on the back as well. Exhale down. So it's in half. Exhale down. Lengthen that leg, reach that arm. It's such a good exercise for your balance, for your coordination. It's a bilateral movement for your brain. It's working both sides of the brain, cross sectional with the body, like as we walk, we move. Up and back. Okay, so knees are wide, feet are close, sit back onto your heels. Arms are forward, head down. Just make yourself comfortable, relax there. Breathe and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And give another two deep breaths, just feeling, getting rid of all the lactic acids, all the negative, all the toxins, and a negative feeling about you as well. You're just feeling good, registering in your mind. You've done such a good job, and you're doing it. You, you want to change yourself. So 
Um, it's not only for losing weight, it's just for your own self-respect, self-love, self-care. And I feel good, feel happy. Okay, let's just get up. Thank you very much. Um, eat healthy. Uh, give yourself a rest. Always smile. And uh, love yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.